Okay everybody, this is part two and more to come on part two, but I wanted to show everybody what I've been doing with the robot. Uh, as everybody knows in my previous video, this is all primered and ready to go down to the spray booth and um, get another coat of primer because on the side of the robot here, I sanded down the seam on both sides uh, and I'll have to hit it with another coat of primer to take care of that. Over here on the treads, uh, this tread here will hold the battery uh, compartment. Um, I don't have these glued together yet. Um, I've been working on the type of uh, battery holder I'm going to have inside because this will hold two 9 volt batteries. And over here I made this little box to hold two uh, 9 volt batteries. I'll put it up here and um, probably attach it with um, hot glue but just to show you that it fits perfectly uh, inside the tread and uh, that's where I'll have uh, the power supply uh, will be in this tread over here I have the light kit um, from Mega Labs for the front here of the robot. Back here I got the sound to light unit. I built that board and then I just got this in the mail today uh, with a microphone, record button and speaker and I recorded some tracks for the robot and the only thing that I'm going to have in the torso is the speaker. This will be mounted somewhere else like on the base or underneath the robot uh, everything else will be mounted in the torso uh, this light kit and the sound of light unit will be in the torso I'm gonna go ahead and show everybody here uh, this car is pretty cool it uh, comes with three watch batteries it'll record up to 120 seconds and it's for uh, a card like you can get at Hallmark. Uh, I got it off uh, Amazon and it came all the way from uh, Germany. I don't know if you can get a good shot of that or not. But... Um, with shipping and everything, I got this for uh, $18. It's not bad. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this little uh, piece of uh, plastic off the switch to activate the card.
right, and that's it. That's the tracks I have on this little card. Uh, I think it's going to work just fine in the robot. Um, the only thing is I'll have to cut the positive and negative wires here from the board to the speaker and lengthen both of them to go through the robot to where I'm going to have this mounted. Like I said, on some kind of base I'll build for the robot. And I figured I'd share this with everybody for the update. And everybody have a good day. Okay, everybody, I got another update on my uh, robot B9. This is the sound card that I bought for the robot. Um, this will be mounted somewhere on a base. I got two ideas for two different type of bases. And all I did last night was take the speaker with an old clean sock and I cut a perfect circle out to muff out the sound and on the back side here a little bit at a time I hit it with hot glue and it held pretty well and it did muff the sound down some but I also have some cotton that I may use inside the torso to muff it down a little bit more but I think my idea is going to work uh, I used 28 gauge wire I have black and white I uh, just lengthen it from the board to the speaker so I have plenty of room to move with and uh, put the speaker in the torso and one to run the wire down and it'll run through this tread right here and to the card wherever I have it on the base it works just fine I have plenty of room now to work with the speaker and uh, I figured I'd share this with everybody and um, I'll add this to the part two of the robot B9 build. Um, I want to take this down to the spray booth, probably won't get to it today. Uh, hit it with a second coat of primer and um, take it from there and paint it. But I've been working on the board so far, everything still works just fine and that's the update for the card I'm working on the robot and everybody have a good day okay everybody I'm down in the spray booth uh, this is part two of my robot built uh, B9 from Lost in Space from Mobius Models 1-6 scale I already worked on the torso uh, I sanded down the seams and they're looking pretty good I'm gonna hit it with a second coat of primer on both sides here I'm going to touch it up see how it turns out uh, I'm also going to paint some more parts of the model today um, be working on the brain plate right here it's clear I'm going to primer that up and uh, get that set up uh, parts of the lower part of the robot here the legs um, I'm going to be painting those I have um, one tread right here that's ready to go um, the paints I'm going to use is model masters I got primer aluminum medium gray that I'm going to be using for the bottom of the robot instead of just a primer I want it to be just a little bit darker and then I'm going to also be using this uh, gray metallic that goes on the front here uh, I'm going to paint this in here uh, gray metallic and possibly paint the rest of the torso uh, aluminum today uh, one more thing I picked up at Advanced Auto Parts was this Duplicolor Automotive, Automotive Primer Series Adhesion Promoter I'm going to apply that to the parts here first dry it and then apply the primer see how that all works out the same with the brain plate I'm gonna hit that with uh, the adhesion promoter I picked this up like I said at advanced auto parts two cans with tax and all less than twelve dollars I've seen a few people use this online I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try see how it turns out with the model and I figured I'd share this with everybody this is uh, part two of my Mobius build Robot B916 scale and everybody have a good day.
All right, everybody, here's another update on my Robot B9 build part two. I primered uh, everything up, turned out pretty nice. Um, with the one tread here, I'm going to have to work on seeing some more on both sides. Um, that's the joy of building models. Is once you primer it up, um, it'll show any uh, mistakes and um, anything else on the part. And I'll just have to use some elbow grease and some more sandpaper on it. And uh, do that and then hit it with a second coat of primer. On the legs, they turned out really nice and the arms. I uh, used medium gray and it just turned out awesome. Uh, it looks really sweet. Um, the smaller parts of the legs here, I um, painted those also medium gray. Uh, I'm using the small arms for the robot, not the, the ones that are extended. Um, on the brain plate, um, I already primered it. I don't know how good this is going to look. Uh, it's got metallic gray on it. It looks pretty cool. I don't know how many coats I may have to put on that because I'm going to put a, a LED in there. On the front of this, I have it painted with metallic gray. Where the um, the plate goes right here, the or the fancy um, LEDs and stuff I have for his plate right here in the front but the metallic gray turned out pretty good uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with aluminum this is the bottom plate for here which I've got it uh, with a couple magnets and that is where my batteries are gonna go my two 9 volt batteries I'll film this again once I hit this with um, some aluminum. I'm going to hit these two back here and these two up front here with aluminum. And this goes on the top of his uh, brain and I'm going to hit that with aluminum. And then I'll call it a night and hopefully I can get down here tomorrow uh, afternoon and do some more painting. And I figured I'd share this with everybody and everybody have a good day. Okay everybody, here's another update on my robot B9 uh, 1.6 scale for Mobius models. Uh, this is going to be with part 2 of my uh, build on the robot. I already yesterday hit this section right in here with um, gray metallic. I'm going to mask this off today. Do the whole torso with aluminum and take care of that and finish that up today. Down here I have the brain and um, it's already painted with uh, gray metallic and the top of the brain gets uh, painted aluminum. There's other parts of the model I'm going to be uh, putting primer on it today and getting that ready for uh, assembly. Um, I did use this yesterday, this uh, adhesion promoter. Uh, it's very good. It, works with the paint just fine and when the robot is finished I'm going to be putting on a doll coat testers um, I'll apply this on them to protect the paint job and I figured I'd share this with everybody what I'll be working on today with the robot B9 and everybody have a good day Okay everybody, I'm back again. My battery died in my camcorder and here's another update that I was trying to do before my battery went dead. Um, here's the upper to torso of the robot. It's finished. Um, I put a doll coat over it um, about an hour ago. It's real smooth. Everything looks good. Um, I also have some more parts down here uh, that I... Uh, painted it yesterday and I applied some doll coat. The only thing I haven't applied any uh, doll coat to right now is um, the brain plate right here. It goes on the inside of the robot. Here's a few more spot um, parts right here that I primered up. Uh, power pack. Primer that up. And I'll get that probably next weekend. Uh, come back down here to the basement paint some more parts of the robot 
but my main uh, job this weekend was to take care of the torso and paint it up and it turned out really nice um, the seams that I had here on both sides are gone now um, put the second coat of primer on it and then applied the aluminum paint and it turned out really nice this kits coming along pretty good um, it's gonna take me a little bit longer than um, I anticipated in uh, building this kit um, it might take me a couple more weeks it might take me another month but I'm um, getting it done slowly and I figured I'd share this with everybody um, I may hook it up uh, put some power to it and see what it looks like since it's all painted up but this is my update for part two of the robot build uh, b9 from Mobius models and everybody have a good day